Hello everyone! Today we will be using Procreate. This will be another Procreate tutorial, which is also the continuation of the previous video. We worked on something a little difficult yesterday, so we'll take it easy this time, where I will be showing you how to quickly draw this Kindle app. This tutorial is pretty straightforward, and anyone can do this easily, so feel free to give it a try! The first thing to do is to choose a square size canvas from the plus button. We'll start drawing from here, and first we'll draw the background of the sky. We'll be adding gradation, and I'll introduce you how to create gradation here. First, grab a brush called a soft brush, and grab blue color. Then, color the top part here in blue. We'll switch to a different color and start coloring under it. It's still blue, but a bit lighter. We'll add one more color. I suggest coloring using 3 to 4 colors vertically like this. Once we color, we'll be making gradation from here. We have layers like this at the moment. From the adjustment panel at the upper left, there is a blurring tool, so select it. Then slide the screen from left to right, which will show a bar at the top as you can see. So we can set the degree of blurring by sliding on the screen like this. We don't want to do it too much as it will blur everything, and it will just be in plain blue in color. So make sure to see and set the right degree like this. Once we've done these, the sky part is complete. So next, add a new layer, and we'll draw the boy in black on this layer. The brush I'm using this time is a brush I customized by myself, and it's called a light pen dark. I sell my set of brushes, so if you bought them, you should be able to find this light pen dark brush there. So go ahead and use that. For those who don't have it, there's a brush called Studio Pen by default, so you could use that one too. But mine's much easier to write honestly, so feel free to download it. First, we'll draw the ground part. Draw a random line here, hold it, and it lets us draw a beautiful curve like this. We could also draw straight lines, triangles, circles, as well as squares by holding them. Once we have the ground part drawn, add a new layer on top of it where we'll be drawing a figure of the boy. We'll do it roughly today. I have my iPhone on my left, and I'll start drawing by referring to it. You don't have to put your iPhone next to you as the iPad has a split view function, where you could open the Apple Store or any other apps for your reference as you draw. So it'll be easier to draw using that function. I'm not using the split view function because I'm filming myself, and also the iPad I have is an 11-inch model, which is a bit small to draw with using the split view function. It feels a bit too small when drawing, so for those who use a bigger iPad Pro such as 12.9-inch, I find it more efficient to draw using the split view function. Once we're done with this step, the figure of this boy is complete. At last, we'll be drawing stars, and when doing so, add a new layer on top of the sky layer and start drawing stars. 
grab white color and as for the brush there's an option that says brightness here and inside it we can find a brush called a faint light brush I have two of them here but you should only have one so slide it to the left to copy and we'll customize the one we just copied tap it so it opens the brush settings from the stroke settings at the bottom left here there is an option for spacing at the top and we'll adjust it here the higher the percentage the more spacing between the stars meaning you can draw stars scattering all over the place the default one barely has space between stars so too many stars are centered at one place sparkling kind of too much so it's better to color using the customized one Okay, just like this, it's complete. How does this look? I will give it maybe like 70%. But my focus today wasn't about the quality of this icon. And I just wanted to show you how we can easily make icons like this one. But by adding any gradation to the background and drawing a shadow-like object in front, we can easily create a cute icon, so feel free to give it a try. I'll be making more videos introducing you to some tips on how to draw something like this quickly. Even though it's pretty fun for me to work on something more complicated too, I assume most of you are keen to learn more about easy drawings like this one, so I'll be doing that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the button down below and thank you for watching my video. Bye bye!